Hey, what's up guys? MLT Magic Tricks here. So in today's video, I'm going to be performing and then teaching you this very cool card trick with a kicker ending and it will definitely fool all of your spectators. So I do recommend you stick around and learn this one. But really quickly, before we get into this performance, make sure all of you guys enter the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway that I'm going to be having um, go on the channel throughout the month of March in honor of reaching 225,000 subscribers. So I'm giving away 10 $10 Amazon gift cards and all you need to do in order to enter is be subscribed subscribe to my channel with those post notifications on, leave a like on this video and comment something you like about this video or my channel in the comment section below and I will be announcing the 10 winners at the end of the month so make sure you guys do enter and now let's get straight into this performance. Okay so I'm gonna start off this trick by giving the deck a quick ripple shuffle like so mixing up the cards. Now from here I would have my spectator make a selection so let's say they choose uh, this card right here. Now for this trick I do not want to look at the card I'm just going to be showing you guys so make sure you memorize your card right there. I promise I'm not looking at it. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get your card lost somewhere uh, into the middle of the deck here. It really does not matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and give the cards some cuts and I will give the deck a quick riffle shuffle as well, really losing your selection into the deck. Now, I'm gonna go out and take a guess and say that your card is not one of the four queens. And I will admit that's actually pretty unimpressive because right here in the card box I do have the four queens so I'm obviously doing this for a reason guys because the four queens right here as you guys can see um, are going to be very important in this trick and we're going to start off just by um, introducing ourselves and getting familiar with the queens that we have so we have the queen of diamonds the queen of hearts and we also have our two black queens as well just like this and we're gonna go ahead and turn over the two black queens right there and at this point I would just ask my spectator uh, which queens uh, do they want to use right here. We have the two red queens and we obviously have the two black queens as well. So let's say my spectator uh, wants to use the two red queens. We're going to go ahead, we're going to turn them over just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and place the two red queens right here face down on top of the card box. And now with our remaining queens, the two uh, face up black queens, we're just going to go ahead and get those lost somewhere uh, into the deck right there. And what I'm going to do at this point, guys, is just give the deck a quick riffle shuffle like this and one final cut to really lose our uh, two face up black queens into the pack and my goal in doing that guys uh, by cutting the cards and giving the deck a quick riffle shuffle there was to try and get one face down card in between our two face up black queens so we're going to spread out the deck face down and we're going to check out how I did here so as you guys can see um, there are somehow I mean two uh you know face down cards in between the two black queens not one card but there's actually two and we're going to check out these cards here because i was trying to you know find your selection your card that you chose and obviously we have two you know face down cards in between the two black queens and we're going to check out what these cards are the two face down cards are somehow the two red queens and obviously i know your selection was not any of these cards but check out the card that's on the card box right here this card right here should look familiar because I believe the eight of clubs was your selection. So this is the card trick. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you guys want to learn how to do it, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that performance and credit to John Bannon for this effect. Now let's get straight into the tutorial here. So you're going to start off for this trick. All you need to do is remove four of a kind. I just like to use face cards. I, so I chose to remove the four queens. And once you have removed the four of a kind, you're going to need to separate them by color. So you're going to have two red, two black, or, you know, two black, two red, just like this. Do not have them interlaced. Keep them separated here. And you're going to place your four cards inside of the card box. And you're just going to keep the card box with your four of a kind in it off to the side to start. And also there's one other card with a small setup. And you're just going to need to make a crimped card. So you can take any card you want to from the deck. I just chose the joker here. And you're going to take your index, middle, thumb, place that there in the middle, apply pressure, do the same thing with your other hand and apply pressure out to the corners. Just do that a couple times to create a little crimp in the card. And this crimp card is going to be very important. So once you guys have your crimp, place it on top of the deck and you're ready to start off with the trick. So you go up to your spectator, tell them you're going to start off by shuffling up the deck. Just sh do a refill shuffle there. Keep the uh, crimp card on top of the deck. And from here, um, you're going to have your spectator choose a card. They can choose any card except that top crimp card. So make sure you guys put your thumb over it. Your spectator chooses a card. And while you guys are performing this, you're just going to have your spectator look at it. But for the purpose of the tutorial here, we'll go ahead and turn it over. So in this case, we have the three of diamonds. Now, what you need to do here is get their selection directly on top of the crimped card. And then you need to have these two cards back on top of the deck. So 
I'm going to explain how to do that right now. It's really not too difficult. So as your spectator is looking at their card, they're memorizing it. You're going to swing cut about half the deck. So you have the top of the deck kind of below here. Have your spectator place their selection directly on top of the crimp card there. And you can either directly put the pack on um, on top there, maintaining this pinky break between their selection and the rest of the deck. Or what you can do what I did in the performance to make it a little bit more convincing. Start dribbling the cards from the bottom, bring them to the top, come over with your thumb and get a thumb break just like this. And once you have got this thumb break, either that method or you put the, the pack on, transfer it over to a thumb break like that, you're gonna need to, do a, uh, need to do a double undercut to bring those cards to the top. So take half of the cards from the bottom of the break, bring those to the top, take the rest of the cards from the break, bring that to the top, and you have just brought their selection in the crimped card to the top of the deck. Now at this point, once you have done that, um, you're gonna tell your spectator, you're gonna say, okay, I'm going to make a guess and say that your card is not one of the four queens. Obviously, they were going to say yes, it's not one of the four queens, and you're going to tell them that was not very impressive because the four queens are in the pack. As you're kind of doing this, keep the um, deck here, I mean the, the card box off to the side. You are still going to need the box, and as you have the four queens here, you're going to pick up the deck, and you're going to want to get a pinky break below uh, the top card, which is their selection right here. It makes the next move a lot easier, so you kind of have the four queens over the deck. Push over, pull back a little bit, make it really casual, get a little pinky break just like that. You're going to place the four queens directly on top of the break. So now you ha should have a break below five cards, the four queens and their selection. You're going to pick up the four queens, but in reality, you're picking up their selection as well. Tell your spectator, okay, we're going to take the four queens. You're going to place the rest of the deck here off to the side. Now you have the four face-up queens and their selection. So at this point, um, you're going to explain to your spectator. We're just going to get ourselves introduced to the queens here. So we have the queen of diamonds. Go ahead and place that down. Queen of hearts. Uh, go ahead and place that down as well. Now at this point, guys, this is really important. You're going to... First, take off this black queen in this case. It's a single card. You're going to place this double packet, another queen, and their selection. It's going to be back to back. Make sure you guys keep the cards as square as possible. You're going to place this card directly, this packet directly on top of the, uh, the other queen, the single, and you're going to turn, um, you're going to place them down, guys. And now, this is really important. You're going to act like you're turning over the two black queens, but in reality, you're only turning over one card. You're turning one card over as two. So kind of just make it convincing here. You're going to tell your spectator, okay, we're going to, and we also have our two black queens. So once you've done that, your spectator thinks you took the two black queens and turned them face down. But in reality, this is your setup. You have a uh, queen, their selection face down, along with the other two red queens face down, but we have one uh, other queens face up. This is where you are from here. Now, once you guys have done that, you turned over the two black queens or two red queens, depending on what you had first. You're going to turn over the deck like this, and kind of as you're holding it here, you're going to get a little pinky break. Be You're going to pinky pull down the bottommost card, which is a queen there. Pull it down a little bit. Keep it square. And you're going to, um, as you're kind of talking to your spectator, just lift up the top queen like this. And you're going to ask your spectator which pair of queens do they want. At this point, you guys are going to do Magician's Force because whatever uh, pair of queens they say, black or red, you're going to get rid of this you know, top cards here, the, the two queens that are on top. And by get rid, I mean, you're, these are the cards that you're going to be placing on top of the card box. So I'll explain what I mean, what I mean by that right now. So let's say your spectator, um, let's say they want the two red queens. You're gonna say, okay, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and turn them over. Now, what you guys need to do here is place this uh, queen back on top. Now you have a break. Uh, your, your pinky pulled down one card. Now you're going to be turning over the four cards here as if they were two. You're going to say, okay, we're going to turn over our two uh, red queens just like this, kind of turn them over casually, just like this, make it pretty quick there. And you say, okay, we're going to take the two red queens that you wanted, and we're going to place them on top of the deck. Now, what you're doing here is lifting up only one card because the card now on top, guys, is their selection. So kind of make the grip like this, act like you're picking up two, and you're going to say, okay, we're going to place the two red queens right here face down on top of the deck. But in reality, you're placing their selection on top, and you now have the four queens back in your hand and let's say earlier your spectator wanted the two black queens you're gonna say okay that's fine we're gonna go ahead and turn over the two red queens and place them on top of the card box here so guys whichever um pair of queens your spectator says you need to place um that pair on top of the card box now from here you are set up with uh, the four queens back in your hand and you're gonna tell them okay we, we're gonna take the two remaining face up queens we're gonna place them on top of the deck what you guys need to do here is just cut them into the middle now, at this point, you're going to need to get into position to do a riffle shuffle, but this is where the crimped card comes into play. You're going to kind of do a char one-handed Charlie cut move like that, or if you guys don't know how to do that, just kind of find the natural break there. You're going to move over the deck like this, and once you have found that natural break, you should see the Joker here, that, or, or whichever card you crimped, 
that's going to place you're going to place that down because right below it check it out is your four queens right below that joker so you're going to separate the cards one more time by the crimp the crimp card should be on the bottom of one packet and you should have the other pack right here you're going to tell your spectator we're going to do a quick riffle shuffle all you need to do is keep um the 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 queens and the joker right there you're gonna shuffle those first make sure you try not to try not to flash them and then just finish the riffle shuffle like so finish riffle shuffle you're keeping those cards there at the bottom and then you can just do one final cut as well so guys if you do not want to do that step and you're worried about you know the crimp and finding the break you can just skip that step entirely you can start off just by you know you place your four queens back on top here you do your cut and now they're going to be in the middle just like if you did the shuffle um, so it's up to you guys. I like to do the riffle shuffle there because it kind of goes with the narrative of the trick saying, okay, that I'm doing a riffle shuffle there, trying to get one face down card in between the two face up queens that I placed in the deck earlier. But in reality, guys, if you're gonna spread out the cards. Um, you're gonna see there's two face down cards. You're gonna ask your spectator, wait, were any of these your selections? Your spectator's gonna be completely confused. They're gonna say, wait, obviously no. These are the two red queens. They thought you placed them down here. And to have the finale of the trick with the kicker ending, you're gonna tell your spectator, wait, this card should be yours show them that their selection was somehow on the card box so guys that is the trick i hope this one made sense i know this tutorial was kind of long i just had to explain all the steps go ahead and rewatch any parts of it you need to in order to understand it go ahead and leave a comment if you have a question i'll be responding to questions about this trick i really hope you guys give this one a try um it's definitely amazing and it will fool all of your spectators so that's going to wrap it up for this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to enter the giveaway um anyways i will see you guys in my next one peace out